Two weeks ago on Tuesday, about 200 metres away from us here at RNZ in Auckland, a 34-year-old man was hit by a car. Daniel Kopa died two days later, a fortnight ago today. In the days that followed, we learned he was a father of four little girls, the oldest aged just five. And then we watched in amazement as a give a little account opened by friends received donation after donation after donation. The amount donated now stands at $129,000. And much of it has come from people who'd never met Daniel. And Dan's wife, Kelly, who met him and fell in love with him at school, wanted to say how much it's all meant to her, the kindness of family, of friends, and most unexpectedly of all, of strangers. I went to see Kelly at home with three of their four children and with her wonderful mum and dad, a.k.a. Papa. I don't even know how to put it into words, but it's been incredible. Um, from the give a little page and even like yesterday I came home and there was two boxes of nappies just delivered and I don't even know who they're from, you know, just... Just at your front door? Yeah, just at the front door. And, um, you don't know who put them there? No, oh, well, I know a career company did, but I don't know where they... Yum. <laughs> oh, where, yum, look at who, that. Who ordered them and just... Um, but the strain, like... And reading the messages from people, and like even, and it, you, at the beginning when it first happened, it really helped get me through. And how every night before I fell asleep, I'd read them, just to kind of, in some ways. Hopper, what a nice popper. We'll go for a walk to the shop. Eh? Are you going to the shop? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. What are you going to buy? I buy chocolate. Oh, chocolate! <laughs> Can you bring me some back? Good girl, thanks so much, shall we? Right, go, ready? Papa. You all set? Yes. No, let's go. Bye. It really Bye. helped me to disconnect Bye. in some ways from what was happening yeah. and just, um, because uh, right like, if I was, I was living it, so it helped me see it through other people's, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it helped me to cope, I guess. And like, I, I, won, I remember one lady said, oh, this was the, all that she had in her account. And it was something like twelve dollars sixty. Or it was an odd number, and I just I felt overwhelmed by it. And I remember saying to someone, "Give it back, give it back." You know, like it's it's really hard to just take the generosity of people, but words don't express kind of what it means either. It's such a terrible thing to lose the man you love as much as. You and Dan loved each other, and it's such a terrible thing to lose the father of your beautiful children. Yeah. But the kindness. Oh, it's made it all... What we've been surrounded in, from friends and family, and they've just come in and surrounded us with it. From something that, as awful as it's been, and I wish I wasn't living it, it's made it bearable, but it's made it more than bearable. It's almost made it special in some way, like, um, yeah, and I, I don't kind of like to think of my husband's death as special because I'd give anything to have him back and be arguing with him again, anything. But it's made it, yeah, it's really, I look back on it and I think it was, you know, it's been a special time. It's been a life-changing time, but it's been, and I've helped me, keep my head above water th through all of it. And um, and I didn't expect it. I don't know, you never think about it, but I just didn't expect it either. So at times it was really overwhelming, the feeling, because there's no words to sum it up for me. Like it just, how much it truly means. And like, yeah, and people that don't know the twins that don't have that connection or know our kids or know me or, um, that didn't know Dan, but they've just, you know, taken the time to even, let alone money, but taken the time to write the message. Even some of the messages I've read on the articles that have been mm -hmm. done, even that, you know, like th those words, I guess people write words and you don't think they mean that much to someone, but they actually do. And they really, they help to get you through things. And this is 
both emotionally and, and in terms of your heart and your loss, but also financially. And this is a difficult conversation to have, but Dan had a kind of pre-existing blood condition, right? He did, yeah. Which made it very difficult and extremely expensive for him to get life insurance. It did. And, and we're in your beautiful home, but like all young people who are in the position of owning a home, you yeah. have a mortgage. And so you not only were going to lose, well, lost your husband, but your home was at risk. So, so the donations have actually... They, yeah, I guess people didn't realise that. Um, people have given this and didn't realise that he didn't have life insurance. So, and one of my first thoughts was, how am I going to do it? You know, like... So just, I just can't thank people, our friends and our family, but and the, all the strangers, and, and they don't feel like strangers anymore though, but people that didn't know us. I can't thank them enough. And I'll never be able to. Never. Kelly Cleland talking about the immense and extraordinary kindness of strangers since her husband Daniel was killed out on Hobson Street a fortnight ago.